Amarula, produced in South Africa, is a common alcoholic beverage that has gained recognition around the world. The main ingredient for the world acclaimed beverage is the marula plant, which is also known as the elephant tree or the marriage tree. But did you know that the marula plant is a common plant found in the northern parts of Ghana? Here's Martina Bugre's report. The marula plant is native to the five regions of the north. Over the years, the leaves and the plants have been used largely to feed animals. Even though it has great economic potential, little has been done to tap its benefit. It has remained a plant just at the community level. But countries like Burkina Faso and South Africa are exporting the fruit and its final produce. Meet Professor Felix Kofi Abagali project lead and director of the West Africa Center for Water Irrigation and Sustainable Agriculture of the University for Development Studies, who talks about the economic and nutritional benefit of the marula plant. It gives those who consume it a lot of uh, nutrient benefits in terms of minerals, vitamins, and it has uh, antioxidant properties as well as uh, also giving us some medicinal uh, uses that we can use it for in our local communities. Aside that, um, it gives, uh, there are some economic benefits which are not well explored in our uh, part of the world, especially its use in the brewery industry, the production of what is commonly called amarula which is produced in South Africa and then exported widely across the globe. The seeds are actually also used in some oil extraction that uh, is used in many industrial and pharmaceutical companies. It can actually be used to, to support uh, our economic growth, especially in the north. And so it is an export crop uh, or tree product, but it is the less has been said about it. He said the tree can be cultivated in large quantities and it takes just seven years to mature. The problem is that at first the local people don't really know the benefits of the tree and that is why we are undertaking this uh, climate resilience project to be able to bring to fore the benefits of the, the tree and its uses in the community and to propagate it is easily done by seed and you can also we are trying to see whether we can do the true cuttings in the in the laboratory to be able to increase the population in our society. Wawisa UDS is currently running a project in the Kumbungu district of the northern region to sustain the tree. Would government pay attention to this promising export and a tree in the northern sector? For Joy News, Martina Bugri reporting.